everyone. Welcome to March 2016 Earth Prediction Series. Thanks for joining me guys. I hope you enjoy this interesting journey of um, this particular type of spread that I work with. I've told you a little bit before, but for anyone who's new to this, these are called Psy Cards. They were devised with the idea in mind of Carl Jung, or Zhang, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, everyone seems to do it a little bit differently. He believed very firmly in archetype principles and collective consciousness. So these cards work within the energy centres of that particular type of psychology or matter or vibration. So I shuffle the cards, I connect with Earth's energies and collective conscious thoughts that are around at the moment and by everyone on the planet and then we shuffle these cards and do a draw for the month seeing what type of energies are going to be around. So let's put a little bit of focus and energy into this and see what is in store for March 2016. Okay, the skills, the sage, the scales, the tower, and the libido. We see a predominance of blue and green energies there coming through the cards. So I think of sky and water effects, given that they are often the colour that, that is predominant in those two realms. Let us start at the beginning of the cards that arrived, which is the skills card over here. Often the layout for the month kind of works through systematically as if you would say this would be the beginning of the month and it would work through towards the end, but that is not always the case. I do sometimes notice that it, um, it is a bit more sporadic than that. Starting with the skills, we see these two arrows and we think of things um, coming to the ground because they have been fired up and then come back down. Very similar to these rockets that are being let off globally around the world, I think, um, North Korea have let some off recently, as has Russia and America that we're aware of, so perhaps more rockets. I also think of other things coming from the sky, meteorites, meteors, asteroids. We've got two comets going past in um, March. We also have the lunar eclipse occurring in March, so it could be quite an active year cosmolo cosmologically and within our space. The skills card also represents warring because this is um, a bow and arrow. So we get the feeling still we're still in tense times globally. You'll still have warring energies around us. <clears throat> and these may um, flare up, you know, come to the fore and hand-to-hand -hand combat as well because this is hand-to-hand -hand combat. So we'll move on to the sage. I find him rather an interesting card. He's quite, I quite like him when he turns up. He's very methodically working away on some extremely in-depth uh, physics or astronomical or new technological devices or knowledge in his mind. He can represent that type of person, so something new coming to us in the way of knowledge via technology or astronomy, information about our space that we didn't know, or new space exploration information or technology. So it can represent literally the heavens. We've got a few things here in the month showing us of um, things falling because this card, this card and this card all infer to me of things coming from the sky down to earth. So I often think of him as planetary alignments and um, the solar system, the planets and space around us. As well, he can also be uh, a very important person on the planet, such as the Pope. So sometimes when the Sage card comes out, literally the Pope will be in the news one way or another for something he's either pushing forward or something around him, energetically wise. So keep an eye out for that one. We move to the scales, and it was in February's 
um, chart as well. And I have talked about how it's a need to bring balance into energies around us. And it can also have to do with legal matters of, say, big companies where there are shutdowns or um, legal issues that are brought to the, to the forefront for the public to see. So sort of hidden agendas being addressed or someone making sure that the wrongs are being righted, something along those lines, as well as quake-related activity. And I think of that as the southern hemisphere, so down here towards where I live. And in fact, in February, we had a lot of um, quakes for New Zealand. I wonder if this card will carry on representing that issue or not. Um, it can also mean, when I say legal things, I often think of events where you can get within a family, because this is the family tree as well, you can get these breakdowns of within families. So you can see terrible family incidences. And one that comes to mind just recently was in India. A man shot and killed the 14 members of his family. Um, it's events like that that will be brought to attention and they could also be a little bit prevalent in March. We come to the tower and we see this noble building sit atop a large knoll. And I often think of Italy or um, through that European area because of the beautiful antiquity of this castle. So whether or not areas around Europe one way or another come into the news again, sometimes weather related incidents and again sometimes quake related incidents. I also think that because he's sitting high on a knoll, I think of flooding you know, underneath these buildings or in towns, so we'll keep an eye out for that as well. Now coming to the last card for the month and we see the libido, it's a beautiful card to look at but sadly it's one of the more fiercely strongly energetic cards in the deck which kind of makes sense when you think of what libido is, it's a powerful rushing energy that is um, you know enacted quite quickly within say a human body. So um, the same type of presence goes forth for the card itself on earth it can be a fury of energy released and often in the realm of weather so possibly amazingly heavy storms of some sort often associated with water gushing down so flooding um, storms heavy storms inland tsunami type energy rivers flooding it's rapid, it's quick, so it can even indicate mudslides, you know, um, snow avalanches, water slides, swollen rivers, heavy, heavy rains. And as well, we see that animals again are in the picture. We seem to be um, noting now every month mass animal die-offs, and it's not hard to trace and track those if you are interested. There are various sites that you can go to that sort of more or less every other day they're picking up mass deaths of animals for one reason or another and we're not sure why but we know that they're no longer sustainably living in their own environment due to some form of dis-ease for them. So there you are guys, there is our collective conscious energetic cards for the month of March and um, Thanks again for tuning in. Any of you who have great ideas or thoughts or your own perspectives on the cards, I do love seeing all your comments below the video. I think the more we all contribute with our own thoughts, the better off it is as well. So thanks again. Wishing you all a safe and happy March. Ka kite anoa. Much aroha. Namaste.